you're going to build in your mind, okay? Okay, so close your eyes. I want you to imagine you have four cubes. Three are blue, one is green, okay? Take the three cubes, snap them together in a row, and put them on the ground. Now take your green cube, put it on top of the middle blue cube. Okay, now picture what that looks like in your mind, okay? You got that picture? Yes. yes. Now, here's the trick. Ready? Close your eyes. Kaya, keep your hands off. Flip it upside down. Flip it upside down and put that picture in your mind. Is it this one? No. 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 Yeah. 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 This one. Yeah. Yes? No. Okay. No. Okay. That's okay. This yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's talk about this. So if you think it is this one in the middle, it has three cubes on the bottom and a blue one on top, can you explain to me why you think it's that one? Because you said Did I say three green cubes? No. One. One. How many? How how many of the three were there? What color? Sorry, of the three cubes were there? What color, Shua? Blue. It was blue. It was blue. So if there were three blue cubes, could it be this one? No. That's okay though. It's easy to mix that up. So which one has the three blue cubes then, Samir? The left one. This one. Yeah. yeah. And. Where is the green cube? Can you describe it to me using your words? Kasim? The green cube is down the middle blue. In the middle, right? Remember I said put it on the middle. I'm going to tell you a story, okay? Imagine a world <coughs> far off in the future, okay? Everything in this world is made from cubes. What? <gasps> yeah, everything. Even food? Even food is made from cubes. <laughs> <laughs> what else could be made from cubes? Uh, no. Trees? The trees are made from cubes. People? They could be. Yes, they could be. Sure. This is an imaginary world. People are made of cubes. <laughs> Alicia? Flowers. Flowers? Grass. Grass? Volcanoes. Volcanoes. <laughs> Even the lava that comes out will come out in cubes. Houses, buildings, everything is made of cubes. We are visiting this future world. Okay? We're visiting this future world and this is what it looks like. These are some of the buildings in this future world. Okay? They look funny, don't they? Yeah. They're not like the buildings we have here, right? Okay. I know which one looks I'd like you all to meet George. George? <laughs> this is George. Okay. George lives in this future world. Everybody in this future world is happy. They're living their lives. They go to school. They eat apples. They dance. They skip. They play. They go to work. Every day, George goes to work. And when he is going to work, he walks past all these buildings. Well, on one of these buildings, there is a button, a red button. And he walks past it every day. Nobody ever touches this button. Well, just like Curious George the Monkey, one day, George's curiosity gets the best of him. Presses the he presses the button and immediately <gasps> the ground starts to shake and all the buildings start to rumble and everything turns upside down. Oh. But they don't fall over. <laughs> everything is upside down. You oh did? my gosh. Now George feels really, he's really upset about this.
What would happen if our world was upside down? Oh. Think about it for a second, okay? I just want you to think about that for a minute. What would Thorncliffe Park look like? What would Toronto look like if we were upside down? Everything except for the people is upside down. Can you imagine that? Try and visualize it right now in your brain. <laughs> Try and describe it to me. Anika? Uh, the sky would be on the ground. The sky is on the ground. Then where are you walking? So you'll be walking on the sky? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you fly away. You fly away. <laughs> like the and, the, and the rain will be bugs. Sorry? And the rain will be bugs. The rain will be bugs. Ew. What else would be upside down? The climbers. The climbers would be upside down. We're very lucky though, because guess what? George is a builder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a builder. So he is determined to make this right. He is going to rebuild every single one of these buildings. Oh, yeah, that's a lot for one little George, right? They're gonna build. Are you going to help them, Samir? Yeah. Me too. Thank you. Me too. Oh my gosh, what a nice group of students we have. Who would like to try and give us instructions on how to build this tower right side up? First, we need a black cube. Then we need two blue cubes and put them together. And then we take two blue cubes. Is it the same? Yes. yes. Look at that. <coughs> Black on the bottom, two greens, and two blues. If you would like to check your shape, you can bring it over and have a look. A lot of buildings are coming. So which one should we be flipping? This one? The original one. Okay, can you flip it for me, please? Okay, now, if you'd like to check, come and place your towers <coughs> alongside and see if they are made right side up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, George says thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We have two buildings made, and there are two more buildings he left to make. He didn't help us. He didn't even help us. <laughs>。going to throw you another another challenge. Are you ready for it? Yeah. You are going to work with a partner. So one person is going to give the instructions. The other person is going to build, but you're not going to look at each other. Okay. And I put another one beside another one. It goes too fast. Oh, yeah. And two, and two lead beside it. Two, I mean one lead beside it. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Can you please come and put your buildings right side up along with George's building and we'll see. This was a really hard one. This one is really easy one. Okay, do we have all the towers now? Yeah. Perfect. Can you go back to your spot then please so we can talk about this. This was our last challenge and we're just going to wrap it up right now. Like uh, this? Ramesa and Alicia did something really wonderful. They did something a little different than us. Did you guys speak in Urdu? Yeah. And what did you just tell me, Alicia, about giving the instructions? It was so easy to tell instructions. Was it easy because it, you got to speak in Urdu? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's okay, you know. If you have a partner that speaks the same second lang other language than you, you can do that. If that makes it easier for you, I know sometimes we think it's so silly in class we're not supposed to be speaking Urdu or Gujarati or Farsi or Dari, but you know what? If you have a friend that speaks that language, then that's fine. Which one is yours? Do you remember this one? Okay. What was the easiest part for instructions? I'll ask her and then I'll ask you. Which part of it though? Which part of the brown was easy to describe? Um, the bridge. 
The bridge. That's what you called it? Make a bridge? Did anyone call this part by something else? No. Did you give it a name when you were describing it about building? Did you give it a name? Did anyone give it a name? I gave it a magnet. It looked like a magnet and a tunnel. We call it a table. Yeah, a tunnel, a table. <coughs> or this one. See, right? Now, what part was really difficult to t explain how to make? What was the hard part to explain? Uh, this is for instructors. What was the hard part to tell? Using your words, what was the hard part to describe to your partner, Kaya? It was the, it was this and that. Putting them together? Yeah. Putting the blue with the brown was the difficult part. Now, for builders, was there a part that was easier for you to build? The line. Oh, the row of the brown, right? Yeah, the line. That part was the easiest part? Yeah. Yeah, what was the most challenging part, most difficult? What was hard, Anna? The, the video that was the blue. Oh, and look, she gave it a name, the V. That was, that's a hard thing, especially hard to describe. Well, boys and girls, George is very happy because now we have rebuilt his city and he promises never to touch that button again. What if somebody else presses the button? What should they do then, Anika? What should they do for the button? They have to call the builders. They have to call the builders if they press it? Could they, could they protect the button? Yeah. And they yeah. can protect the button. How? They, they can put a security thing. A security thing on top or of it? If they touch a shield. It, or if they step on something, they get locked. Well, everything is fine now in our future world. And so they can all go back to living happily and dancing and singing and playing and going to school. Yeah. Thanks to all of you.